Good evening. The purpose of art is to make the invisible visible. Welcome to BMC News Live presented by Al Hilal Hospitals and Medical Centers English News. Myself Shana Sultana joining you with the daily news updates. Today's news in detail. Second edition of Media Talents Award announced. Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, Minister of Information, has announced the launch of the second edition of the Media Talents Awards 2024. The award is organized annually by the Ministry in Strategic Partnership with Thumkeen. This initiative, one of the outcomes of the Innovators Lab, aims to identify and nurture young Bahraini talent, providing them with the training and support needed to develop their skills in professional media production. This year's focus is on acting for television, cinema and theater. Public security won second place in Arab Human Rights Research Competition. The Community Affairs Department at Public Security has secured second place in the Arab Security Personnel Human Rights Research Competition. The competition was organized by the Arab Office for Security Awareness, Media and Human Rights, part of the General Secretariat of the Council of Arab Interior Ministers in cooperation with Egypt's Ministry of Interior. Foreign Minister highlighted Bahrain and U.S. strategic agreements impact. Foreign Minister Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid al-Zayani emphasized the positive outcomes of the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement between Bahrain and the United States one year after its signing. He highlighted its role in strengthening the strategic partnership between the two nations, fostered under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Sal Khalifa and U.S. President Joe Biden. Dr. al-Zayani noted that the agreement's strategic benefits, particularly in defense and security cooperation. Government Hospitals Board of Trustees held fourth meeting of 2024. Sheikh Hisham bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Government Hospitals, chaired the board's fourth periodic meeting for 2024. Sheikh Hisham welcomed the members and emphasized the government's continued focus on advancing the health sector, contributing to ongoing improvements in healthcare services. He commended the Directives of His Royal Highness Prince Salman, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to accelerate the comp completion of cochlear implant surgery waiting lists. Customs President commended King Fahad Bridge staff for swift travel processing. Sheikh Ahmed bin Khali Ahmed Al Khalifa, President of the Customs and Vice Chairman of the King Fahad Causeway Authority Board, made a visit to the inspection. Inspect the King Fahad Causeway, accompanied by Yusuf bin Ibrahim Al Abdan, CEO of the King Fahad Causeway Authority, and senior custom officials. The customs president reviewed the facilities and inspected the operations of customer sections and departments of the on the Bahraini side of the causeway. Now we shall go for a short commercial break. All your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain from our 14 branches at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh Meat and Fish Fruits and Vegetables Sweets and snacks, ready to eat foods. Dairy products, grocery or consumer goods. To have a wonderful shopping experience, please visit your nearest Megamart Macromart branch. Megamart and Macromart, full of goodness.
Welcome back. EDB announced 16.65 million dollar investments. The Economic Development Board EDB with support from Team Bahrain has attracted 16.65 million dollar in expected investments for the establishments and expansion of three leading Indian companies in the sectors of industry, renewable energy and ICT. This came as part of the EDB delegation's visit to Mumbai, Bengaluru and Chennai to strengthen economic ties with India and attract direct investments to Bahrain contributing to job creation. SAH chairman inaugurated first Arab Health Authorities Conference and Forum. Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, SCH, inaugurated the first Arab Health Authorities Conference and Forum along with its accompanying e exhibition. The forum was organized by the National Health Regulatory Authority and NHRA in cooperation with SM Conference organizers on September 11 to 12. Morocco reported first Mpox case. Morocco confirmed its first Mpox case in a man in Marrakech, the health ministry said. The World Health Organization declared the recent outbreak of the disease a public health emergency of international concern after the new variant was identified. The ministry did not offer details on the case and did not specify which variant of the viral infection was recorded. It said his condition is stable and that his contacts did not exhibit symptoms. Typhoon Yagi dead toll rose to 1,000 in Vietnam. Vietnamese authorities have reported that the death toll from Typhoon Yagi has rose to 254 with 820 others injured. This comes as flood waters begin to recede and search and rescue operations continue after the typhoon made landfall in the northeast Vietnam last Saturday. Local media reported 82 people remaining missing as the country continues to grapple with the aftermath of one of the strongest storms to hit Asia this year. The United Nations Children Fund UNICEF UNICEF issued a statement saying that hundreds of thousands of children have been affected by the storm, losing their homes and lacking access to clean water, sanitation, and healthcare services. With this, we come to the end of today's news. Stay tuned for daily news updates in BMC News Live English at 1:30 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off, Vishana Sultana. Good night.